I'm uh, the camp manager uh, and I'm responsible for the logistics uh, in Tanzania. I've worked for Operation Wolosea for nine seasons, uh, seven of them in Egypt, one in Mexico and uh, one in Tanzania. I think what's special about Tanzania is the uh, specific research that you do here about the cichlids and how they uh, are a good evidence of evolution. And this is mixed with the cultural aspect of the project where you get in direct contact with the locals here as we are living in the middle of Kisiba Secondary School. This area there are several different crater lakes um, and so the students are going to be focusing mostly on Lake Masoko because this is our uh, core study area. Lake Masoko is a, is a beautiful lake, it's about, it's about 700 meters in diameter, uh, about 35 meters deep. It's surrounded by sort of a, a steep crater wall which has got lots of lovely uh, forest vegetation on it. So the students are sampling uh, the, the using a remote operated vehicle, an ROV, to look at the fish underwater. Uh, and they're also collecting uh, invertebrates from around the edge of the lake so that we can understand the full ecosystem uh, more thoroughly. And also in that regard, they're going out onto the lake in canoes and they're collecting samples of water, collecting samples of plankton and uh, measuring the water depth at the, at, the, at, the, at the site where they're doing the sampling. So a lot of work going on in Lake Masoko, but we're also taking them to have a look at some of the other lakes round about and some of the river systems round about, to have a look at the fish and the ecosystems there, and also just generally to document the biodiversity of the area, because I think it's, you know, there isn't that much known about what's here in, in the areas around these crater lakes. And essentially they act as little islands of diversity in a, in a, in a sea of, of farmland basically. And so that, that's interesting as well to study. There is also a cultural aspect to the project where we run uh, a cultural workshop with the students, the Tanzanian students here at Kasiba Secondary School, uh, where the students get to know more about the community and the culture and the language of people living here. Uh, so Tanzania is the first uh, part of their expedition here in the Great Rift Valley project and they move on to uh, the Malawi site where they learn how to dive. The first week that the students are here they spend in Nakata Bay and they have a few options there. They can do their paddy open water course or um, if they're already certified they can do the Malawi Lake Ecology course. We give them lectures, so they have an introduction to the lake, they learn a bit of the ecology, and then we focus on identifying some of the cichlid species that live here. I then take them diving and snorkeling, where we do um, transects, and they learn the first bit of research techniques in the water. So it's a really good introduction to field work and also learning about freshwater environments. This is Operation Wallacea's only freshwater and only altitude diving site. So basically take everything you know about a lake and forget it because here water is very clear. It's more diverse than most coral reefs on earth. The fish are very colourful. The diving is perfect. It's a perfect environment to learn in. And the biology and the ecology here is, is just fascinating. There's about a thousand different species of fish here. Uh, most of them from a family of fish called the cichlids. Many cichlids you see in the lake here are in aquariums back in their respective countries. Uh, we started a research center here four years ago uh, to study the cichlids and to keep track of their population dynamics. Uh, one of the issues on the lake is a concern about environmental degradation and the effect of that degradation on the cichlid populations. Uh, so we go down monthly and do what are called population and biodiversity surveys using scuba equipment. We also do some water quality monitoring on the lakes uh, and on the rivers. 
Uh, and finally, we work with fishing communities and help them to understand the effect of their fishing on the fish in the lake and uh, how to better manage uh, that fishing. I think what's special about Malawi is that there are so many different projects that the students can get involved in and they actually see all of the country uh, during their time here. They start up in the north in Nakata Bay and spend a week there and by the end of it we're down here in the south in the Wande National Park.